There is a special kind of love that brings smiles on your face, bringing tears of joy down your eyes, overwhelming love of my mind. And anytime I wanna cry, she grabs me in her arms, saying, "Baby, don't you." Okay. Love you. You're not eating. I'm tired of eating bread. Okay. We could just manage this one today. Tomorrow I'll make something else. Like what? Vegetable soup. <clears throat> okay. I'll wait till tomorrow before I eat. I'm trying my best. Okay? I mean, th th this is the best love that I can give you for now. And you keep making it look like we're, we're not living a good life. Eh? Do you call this living? We're barely surviving. What do you want, Angel? I don't want to survive like a cockroach. I want to live. Angel, you better start eating that food right now. Angel! So, oh my dear, they just let you go like that. She says that I disrespected their platinum custom. <laughs> so, what does that mean? Didn't you tell them that he assaulted you? Hmm? Do you know how things are in this country now? As long as you are rich, even if you kill somebody, you can get away with it. <laughs> wow. It is well. Well, my sister. So, where is the angel? She's in school. What's wrong? What's the matter? Do you know that angel is the most insensitive child in this world? Can you believe she's ashamed of me? How? She doesn't allow me to drop her in school anymore. She doesn't want her classmates to see the kind of car her mother drives. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like, seriously? Do you know the worst part? She keeps asking after her dad. Come to think of it, don't you think you should tell her the truth? But you know why I can't tell her the truth. She can't handle it. Let her be the one to decide. I think you should tell her. Hmm? Please. Just allow her. Wait. He falls over me. And then he's inside of me. Hard and fast. This way. 
Muhammad. He leaned over, loosened my hands, and pulled me upright. So I'm practically sitting on him. He nuzzled my neck, biting down as he flexes his hip, deliciously, slowly, feeling me again and again. He smiles against my neck, and his fingers curl around my jaw and throat, holding me fast for a moment. Have you ever thought about having sex? Sometimes. I wonder if it would be like it is in the books. Kelvin invited me to his party tomorrow. Really? <laughs> Are you sure your mom allowed you to go? I doubt it. But I'll just tell her I'm coming here to sleep over. Okay then, no problem. I think he may be the one. The one what? The one to deflower me. Are you sure? I think so. I mean, if he wants to, I won't say no. Okay then, no problem. Where are you going? To Cassandra's. I'm sleeping over at her place. And you didn't bother to run this by me first? Boyek is just a couple of months away. We need to get prepared for it. Don't you think you're overdressed for us and not narrow sleepover? No. Be safe! Hold on, I'm coming. Thank you. Do your parents allow you to have sleepovers? Huh? No. Actually, they will kill me if they find out. But they are in New York. Your parents are in New York? Yes, they are in New York. I'll join them after school. Dad wants me to go to NYU. Wow. <sighs> the living room is bigger than my entire house. <laughs> I'm very sure that's a joke. <sighs> Do you want me to get you anything? No. Okay. Do you want me to change the channel? No, it's fine. Okay. I like your hair. It's really nice. Just a little roll. But I like it because of the ribbon. And your earrings too. They look really pretty. <laughs>
Okay. Okay. Me. I thought you loved me. Ah, Angel, I do. I do. <laughs> but what do I know about raising a child? I am not ready to be a father. So what are we going to do? Not you. Look, you have to leave. Where do you want me to go? No, you have to leave. You have to go home. Angel, you have to go home. I can't go home. My parents are coming back and I do not want them to meet you here. You have to leave, Angel. You have to go home. I can't go home. I can't go home. Angel, you cannot stay here either. You can't stay here. Please, you have to leave, Angel. Smiles on your face, bringing tears of joy down your eyes. Overwhelming love of my mind. And anytime I wanna cry, she grabs me in her arms, saying, "Baby, don't you cry." I have a friend who knows a doctor. That can take care of our inconvenience. You're talking about an abortion. Yes. We can't keep the baby. I hear it's dangerous. Angel, I am not ready to be a father. And I am very sure that you are not even prepared to be a mother. What about my health? My friend has taken his girlfriend there. And for all I know, she's fine. Nothing is going to happen to you, Angel. Angel, are you okay? I'm not okay. Angel, what's wrong with you? Angel! Angel, what's wrong with you now? No, madam. I are lying down on that bed. You first off here. You first off. Gently. Angel! Angel! Mom! Oh my god! Get out from that place! And get out right now! Madam, let's remove this thing. Her future is at stake. Too much! Too much! table what do you think would have happened to me did you think about me for one second i'm so sorry mom i didn't want 
to carry an unwanted baby. How could you be so selfish, Angel? There's something I should have told you a long time ago. Your father did rip off. I don't even know who he is. I was 15 years old. And he raped me. What? <laughs> Everybody asked me to get an abortion, but I couldn't, I didn't, <laughs> and look at you, you are the best thing that has happened to me, and I don't know why you think it is okay for you to take that away from me. <laughs> You're pregnant, you made a mistake, it's okay. Listen, you're going to keep this baby. Are you, are you listening to me? It's not going to stop your life. You will go to school and you will become the woman that you should be. And I will be here to support you. Okay? Please don't you ever do that again. I'm so sorry. Sleeping by this time. It's morning. Wake up. But mommy. You know you're not alone. You have to be more responsible. But mommy, can I just sleep a little bit longer? Um, well, wake up, eat, take a shower, and then if you decide, you can go back to bed. If you want. I'll get you water. Here's your body. Okay. Nigel. Uh, how are you doing? And how is the little one? Oh, we're fine. And how is Canada? <sighs> nice. But then, there's no place like home. Mm, are you saying that you prefer our country to Canada? Where country has its beauty. Some of them are structural, some emotional, and then some spiritual like Rome. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. So how long are you staying with us? Uh, I've been around for about two weeks and I have one more week to be out. E, you've been around for two weeks and you're just visiting me. Don't be offended. See, you know I've been away for a very long time and I had a lot of catching up to do. I beg, no vex. Is it, is it that sweet pretty? No! <laughs> Worry! <laughs> That's nice though. So, okay, now that you're here, how long are you spending with me? Mm. Three days. I think that's fair enough. Three days? That's, uh, uh, that's not enough. I want more. I can't give you more days. Except you promise to make it worthwhile. Ah, set up. You know I don't have money. Now you want to be giving me conditions. Then I will leave. You. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Don't try me, oh. Don't try me, oh. You never changed. <laughs> you haven't changed, oh. Good to see nice. you. Nice. She smells nice. That's the situation I find myself. It's been so hard for me, especially now that I'm out of job. And my daughter is pregnant. It's so difficult. What is wrong with these little girls of these days? Do they know the battles we fought to get to where we are? 
So after everything you've gone through, she wants to put you through more. My dear, it was a mistake and she's a child. And I believe she has learned her lesson. It's so hard for me, you have no idea, for us to even feed, if not for my friend. Ha! It would have been so difficult. <sighs> it's okay. I'm here now. Um, we'll figure out what to do. And as for Angel, we need to keep an eye on her. You know she's a child that just got pregnant. And she definitely wouldn't know what should be done and what should not be done. Yes. Don't worry. It'll be it's fine. True. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm taking care of her and the baby. I envy your strength, my friend. <laughs> Truly, you take too much. That's not true. I mean, I'm just the mother. What do I do? <laughs> Everything will be fine, okay? Thank you. So, I was going to ask you, what do you do in Canada? Auntie, I envy you a lot. You are living on your own, and you're also living on your own terms. That's because I'm an adult and I make my decisions. Besides, I'm responsible for every single decision I make. Be it right or wrong, I bear it solely. Auntie, please let me come with you to Canada. I'm sure my life will be better there than here. Why do you think so? Because my mom hates me very much. Will you shut up? Why would you talk about your mom who loves you so much in such a manner? Is that what she told you? My mom is a very manipulative and canny person. Before the whole world, she's like the sweetest mom who loves her daughter so much. But when it's just the both of us, she reminds me that I'm a problem and she regrets having me. Even my pregnancy is a problem to her. If care is not taken, she might beat me out of it one day. Are you listening to yourself? Do you even realize it's your mother you're talking about here? Exactly. And I know my mom more than anyone else. Auntie, please let me come with you. I am tired. This child is a hindrance to my progress and I want to abort it. You're very stupid for opening your mouth to say that after everything you and I have gone through. Are you mad? Why? So you will control me now? Yes, Angel. I will control you because I am your mother. I will decide whether you eat, breathe or sleep and you dare not let anything happen to that child. You're very stupid for even thinking about it. What is wrong with you? I've been so quiet with you and I will not continue to tolerate it. If you annoy me any further, yet, I will slam your head on top of this wall. So don't you dare push me. You hear me? Don't you dare it. Good.
expecting to lose the baby? No. I'm actually glad everything went okay. I just did it so I can leave this place. Please, Mom, I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. It won't happen again. Oh, well, you're going nowhere. I think I agree with your mother here. She needs to have her eyes on you 247. It's fine. I'm happy you're okay. I'm happy you're fine. That's all that matters. Okay? The baby is okay and you're fine. It's okay. That's all. You're going to let her off the hook just like that. She's just recovering. The baby's fine. She's fine. We should be grateful to God. Because if anything had happened to her, I don't know what would have become of me. I mean, let's just get her out of here and, and think about the, the way forward. It's everything to me. You are forever. hospital should place you on HMO because you are a well-deserved candidate for it since you come here every other week. Eve, out with it. You're pampering this girl too much. You cause this. That's why you come here every other week because of her constant mischiefs. My daughter is in there battling for her life and you think this is the right time for sarcasm? And this is the right time you have to end it. You have to end it. You have to start teaching this girl how to be responsible. What's wrong with her? She pushes you beyond your limits and you are standing here doing nothing. Angel is a child. I mean, have you ever for once thought about the fact that she goes to school, she has friends who has both parents, mother and father, who are very well to do. And she lives with me who can barely meet her needs. What do I have to offer her? Do you know how hard it is for her? <laughs> and you forgot that there are children too who are worse than NJ, who does not have half the things she has. But what do they do? They believe in God. They have faith. They believe that things will get better for them by helping their mother, not making her lose the little one she has and getting it to death. Oh, oh, mama, mama, I love you. Oh, oh, oh. Your love is everything to me.